good morning all of you today we will discuss about the types of chromatography okay and in which the very important type ion exchange type of chromatography okay first of all what is meant by the ion exchange type of chromatography uh, in the ion exchange type of chromatography we will separate the polar molecule okay we will separate the polar molecule on the basis of their on the basis of their affinity to the ion exchanger that's why we are called as a ion exchange type of chromatography okay so for example our hard water okay hard water contains lots of minerals okay unwanted minerals and we want to convert into the soft water in that case we use the ion exchange chromatography to separate these unwanted uh, minerals and uh, this is the very uh, simple or day to day life example okay second example is our blood we all know our blood contains the lots of electrolyte okay and this electrolyte are very important to enrich our blood to maintain their ph also but uh, in some diseases in some rare diseases we want to separate this electrolyte some electrolyte from a uh, from our from our blood and in that case we use the, the ion exchange type of chromatography Okay. so firstly we will discuss about the principle of ion exchange chromatography what is the principle of this chromatography okay the process by which ion of electrolyte solution are brought into the contact with ion exchange resins here we use the resins our resins is stationary phase it provide the stationary phase and our solvent our uh, sample is in the mobile phase okay we are use the resins uh, and this resins are substitute to the gel bits okay uh, the ion exchange resins is a insoluble polymer consisting of matrix Okay, uh, that carries the fixed charge, and these charge are not exchangeable. And mobile active ions, counter ions, which are loosely attached to the matrix. Okay, why we are use this resins? Because they are carry the fixed charge, positive or negative charge. Okay, and uh, they are these charge are not exchangeable. That's why we are use the resins, and this uh, this resins are very easily available in the market. Okay. in water the counter ion move uh, more or less freely in the framework that can replace by ion of the same sign present in the surrounding solution the matrix of the cation exchanger is considered as a crystalline non ionized polyanion and matrix of an anion exchanger as a non ionized polycation okay cation exchanger we all know what is this is the sub type of uh, ion exchange chromatography okay and this cation exchanger anion exchanger type of chromatography is based on our sample okay totally based on our sample okay the so first of all cation exchanger okay what is the cation exchanger cation exchanger cation means positively charged okay the active ions counter ions are cations okay the polar group attached to the matrix are acidic sulfonic acid carboxylic acid and phenols phosphoric acid for example cation exchanger in the free carboxylic acid form okay they are usually uh, supplied in the positive na plus form Okay, and these are uh, some equation exchange of uh, CaCl to calcium chloride aqueous solution. Okay, this is the example of cation exchange chromatography. How to exchange? This is a uh, exchange of a uh, charge molecule is totally based on the uh, we can say uh, for an example uh, some molecule contain the positive charge here our sodium. Okay. Sodium contain the positive charge and calcium chloride Ca plus Cl two minus calcium chloride. Okay, but some cation are uh, contain the positive charge, but some cation are shows the more cationic property than the other. Okay, and in that case, uh, this. Uh, minus or anionic molecule are attract to the more cationic molecule and they are uh, 
attached to the more cationic molecule they replace or substitute their molecule okay and this is the main principle of ion exchange chromatography in the same case in anion exchange chromatography uh, active ions counter ions are anions in that case the active ions are anions the polar group attached to the matrix are um, tertiary and quaternary ammonium group okay anion exchange is quaternary ammonium form Okay. they are supplied as a chloride rather than hydroxide as chloride form is a more stable okay and this is the uh, for a, a, uh, one example okay regeneration of the resins this uh, ion exchange process is gener uh, gen uh, generally reversible for example in the following 2na plus plus ca plus plus to cl minus okay ca plus 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 to na plus cl minus this is one uh, reaction also the cation exchanger could be exhausted after uh, exchanging all na plus for ca plus plus the exchanger could be regenerated uh, by contacting it with the excess na plus ions for example solution of sodium chloride okay the type of exchanger what type of exchanger here we use the ion exchanger these are either cationic or anionic exchanger of either organic and inorganic nature okay inorganic ion exchanger what is mean the common clay soil minerals for example zeolites used uh, for softening water to convert hard water into the soft water we use the inorganic ion exchanger we all know this uh, ion exchange chromatography means sewage water treatment okay we, uh, we convert the hard water into the soft water to use the farming and other process uh, disadvantage low ion exchange capacity we all know clay soils minerals are uh, not easily uh, carry the charge that's why this is the main disadvantage of this inorganic ion exchanger advantage great resistance to the high temperature obviously okay second high volume capacity and great sele selectivity towards the simple inorganic ion they are easily available second organic exchanger they may be a uh, uh, natural or uh, synthetic okay organic exchanger synthetic means man made okay prepare preparation of organic synthetic ion exchanger how to prepare polycondensation of a phenol sulfo carboxylic derivative with the formaldehyde cationic exchanger we are uh, prepared by this uh, method exchanger the polycondensation of aromatic amines with formaldehyde anionic exchanger this technique it products uh, linear in the structure and relatively soluble in the water which are now replaced by the resin material based on the styrene uh, divinyl benzene copolymer co and polyacrylate polyacrylate the what is the application of the ion exchange chromatography first is a water softening this is very uh, useful application of the ion exchange chromatography because um, uh, this is very day to day life example to contain the hard, to convert the hard water into the soft water the removal of calcium ca2 plus magnesium and other multivalent ion causing the hardness of the water by the filtration to the layer of the strong cation resins okay second is a water demineralization removal of cation and anion dissolved in the water usually carried by the two step technique in which the two column of strongly acid cation exchanger h plus form and strongly basic anion exchanger oh minus form are used in the sequence okay. neutralization cationic exchanger in h plus can be used to neutralize alkali hydroxide and anionic exchanger in oh plus form to neutralize the acidity okay separation of electrolyte from the non uh, electrolytes okay and the fifth application the separation of carbohydrate and their derivatives uronic acid separate on anion exchanger sugar converted into the ionized form by using the borate and separate one strong anion exchanger hexosamine separate on strong cation 
exchanger okay this is all overview about the ion exchange chromatography so ion exchange the um, we will um, um, what is the ion exchange chromatography so here the ion exchange chromatography we will separate the molecule on the basis of the charge or we will separate the polar molecule and here the stationary phase our beads or we can say the resins and our solvent is an is an mobile phase okay so thank you